After being closed for more than a year, a large portion of the Imperial Beach shoreline is back open. The county announced the advisory for Silver Strand and the closure for the area near the IB Pier are both lifted. And this comes after county officials say recent water quality samples meet the state health standards to reopen. Now it's important to note that any more sewage flows as well as currents and wind directions could impact water quality during the next testing. But today, locals could get in the water for the first time in nearly three years. ABC 10 News reporter Danny Miskell was in the South Bay earlier where surfers and beachgoers were taking full advantage of the clear waters. I'm here in Imperial Beach and things are different here this Sunday compared to what it's been like for the last 1000 days. The county of San Diego shows that this water is clean and safe to get into. It's just fun to be at home. Bryson and his dad Casey wrap up with surfing at their home beach and they tell me they've spent the whole summer traveling to other beaches. But when they checked the county's beach and bay website this morning, they saw it was lit up green. We're always looking every morning, hoping praying that we'll see green and today happened to be one of those days. In the last 1,000 days, many locals haven't been able to take full advantage of the water in Imperial Beach because of the contamination flowing in from the Tijuana River. The county says contact with the water could cause sicknesses. I haven't been able to go to this beach because it was like really polluted, so we couldn't go or we would probably get sick. But Saturday, the San Diego County Department of Environmental Health and Quality announcing closures are lifted at the Imperial Beach Pier, Carnation Avenue, and the Silver Strand. After recent water quality samples, met state health standards. Out in the water Sunday. You can see that you can see the sand, you can see the fish swimming in the water and it's not as murky. And no trace of the sewage odor. And today you don't get that, so it's very nice to see the difference. And uh, we're getting to see the improvement. This could change. The county says more sewage flows plus currents and wind directions could impact water quality during the next testing. But for the first weekend of fall, it still felt like a summer day. I get to go in the water. The ocean is blue. And of course, the day I come there, I see dolphins jumping out of the water. In Imperial Beach, Danny Miskell. It's such like a dream come true. ABC 10 News. An advisory is still in effect at Glorieta Bay Park shoreline and the La Jolla Cove. Meantime, the Tijuana Soft is still closed.